Hi, YouTube. It's your girl, Miss Lovely Mocha. Um, it's been a long time. I do apologize um, about how long it's been, and um, I missed you guys so much. Um, yeah, so the last time I recorded, it was like the day before my surgery. I tried to do this video like a couple of weeks ago, but it, I don't know. It's like all messed up or whatever. Anywho, um, <clears throat> so... Um, I got my hair on because it's time for me to get my hair done, so it's like, whatever. But anyways, um, and I don't really like it. Okay, but, um, yeah, so I had my surgery on um, April 29th, 2012, and, um, oh, April 30th, I'm sorry, April 30th, 2012, and I did my last video April 29th, 2012. Well, the surgery went okay. Um, I did have complications after the surgery, so that's why I, I was gone for a long time. So um, what has been happening is the surgery went okay. Um, I, I can't really remember. I didn't write anything down. I didn't intend to do a video, but the kids are asleep and I'm up and so I'm like, okay, let me just go ahead and do it now. But um, I don't remember exactly what my numbers were at the time, but what had happened was I went into surgery on Monday. I had to stay until Thursday. Um, it was like my blood pressure and um, that I was having some problems with and not being able to keep food down and things like that. So I had to stay until Thursday. I came home Thursday, and um, it was okay. I still couldn't get any kind of food down or anything like that. I just kind of forced myself or whatever to take, like, a couple of bites here and there so they can, like, send me home. But after that, I went in. I started, like, a week later, maybe a week and a half. Well, I, I was having pains in my legs or my right leg, to be more specific. I was having pains in my right leg, and so... Um, I didn't think nothing about it. I was like, okay, maybe I need to walk around a little bit more or something like that. While I was in the hospital, though, you know, I had to have the cups and everything on. They didn't keep the cups on me, on my legs or whatever. I would have to go to the bathroom, and they didn't walk for you like you, you know, all of that, short staff or whatever you want to call it. But it had to be on my, you know, day or whatever. But, um... I really didn't think much about it because, like I said, it's, I, I watched a lot of videos and everything like that, and I never heard of anyone actually from the videos that I've watched having issues like the, the ones that I had. So um, I went in for my two-week checkup with my doctor, and he, um, I told him that I could barely walk at that time. It started hurting a lot worse where I couldn't walk. Um, like or give any pressure down on my right foot or whatever, and I know you you all probably say, well, that's a red flag, you know, but I I, w I wasn't thinking about that like that. So um, I went into my doctor like the day, uh, two weeks after, right? Okay, and then so I told him that I could barely walk up the stairs or walk up, you know, to the office to see him, and I was like, it hurts really bad, extremely bad. I was like hopping. I mean, I mean, it was bad. So he told me, he gave me the favor, say, well, and mind you, my doctor is like right at the hospital, like across the parking lot, but he gave me a paper saying that I had to set up a day to go get an ultrasound because it could possibly, quote unquote, be a blood clot, right? So the next morning, I said, okay, you know, I wasn't thinking about it like that. So the next morning, I get up to get my kids ready for school. I like almost fall to my knees. I mean, I'm, I'm like in excruciating pain just in my leg, though, this right leg. And um, so my daughter was like, Mom, I don't think you should go back to sleep, you know, or anything. I think you should go to the emergency room. So then I was like, oh, well, no, nah, no. Then I called my sister, who was like a nurse or whatever. She's like, no, you need to go to the emergency room immediately, you know. And I was like, well, I'm really, okay, maybe I just will go back to bed. And so she was like, do not go back to sleep. That whatever you do, don't go back to sleep. So I didn't go to my hospital where I had the surgery. I went to the hospital that's closer to my house, like five minutes away from my house. It, it just opened or whatever. My earring coming out. Um, but it just opened uh, up the street. So I went there. And so they did some tests or whatever. I told them, you know, my feet was hurting really bad, my leg. And um, they said that I had to get, after the test came back, which wasn't long at all, they said that I had to be in, admitted immediately uh, to the hospital. And I had, an, I was having an embolism, which was, I was ha I had blood clots in both of my lungs. It traveled from my leg up to my lungs. So at that particular time, I guess if I would have went back to sleep that morning, 
I might have not woke up. So um, they made me to the hospital, and I had to take these shots in my stomach, the blood thinning shots or whatever. I had to take those in my stomach twice a day. Then I had to take the cumin, I don't know if I'm saying it right, cumin um, medication. Um, pills to thin out my blood some more. I stayed in the hospital for two weeks, two and a half weeks, I think it was, two and a half weeks. And it seems like I was getting sicker in the hospital. It was like, it was awful. It seemed like I was getting real bad in the hospital. But um, uh, it was so bad that they were like giving me crushed up medication because I couldn't, you know, we just had the surgery. We can't like take the pills and everything. That's why they give us liquids. They were, they didn't understand why I couldn't take the pill or this and any other. They were familiar with the surgery and all of that. And um, I tried to contact my surgeon, but my primary care came up there. They were crushing up pills and putting, like forcing it down my throat, literally. But um, it was just a very horrible, scary uh, feeling to be in that type of situation. And having kids and things like that is just like, I don't know. So my... My advice, like, if I could give anybody any advice, is just, like, please make sure you do the walking. Make sure that they keep those massaging cups on you, give you those heparin shots. Um, I don't even remember getting, like, but a couple of those. And I was there, like, for, you know, all that time from Monday through Thursday. So I, I, I don't really remember. And um, I, I don't understand why my doctor did not, you know, admit me immediately into uh, the hospital when I said I had pains like that. So... Anyways, um, like I said, please, if you have any kind of pains or anything like that, and make sure that they're walking you, you, you know, you're pre-op right now and, you know, or you just had your surgery or whatever, you, you know, please just make sure. If there's any kind of pain that you're having in your legs or anything like that, get it taken care of. Make sure that they check that out for you because that, it, it was no joke. It, it was no joke. But um, I'm doing better now. I... Unfortunately, I still have to take these pills like every night, blood thinning medication, and I have to take those for six months, and then I have to go through some testing and see if I can ever be off it. But I, I tried to get off it, actually. I was like, um, I didn't take it for a few days or something like that, and I went into my doctor, and it was like getting thick again in my blood, so I might have to take this medicine for the rest of my life, but... Um, which is a sacrifice I'd have to take because of the situation and, you know, what happened to me. But, um, yeah, so um, when I started this journey, before I had the vertical sleep gastrectomy, I had got up to 270-something pounds, 274. Um, I was 274 to be exact before my uh, two-week uh, liquid diet. Then I went down to 263. And then... Um, I was in the hospital, so it was like, uh, by the time I got out of the hospital, I think it was like 247, so I wasn't losing like, a, you know, the rapid weight or whatever. And um, before I forget, I want to give a shout out to KK Hendrick 73. I miss you. I haven't talked to you for a while, and I hope you're doing okay. And Miss Raquel, so QL, Miss Raquel, though. I subscribed to her. I'm so sorry if I said your name incorrectly. I do apologize, but you did give me a shout-out. I saw that, and I appreciate it, and thank you so much. You're such a lovely, lovely lady, and I, um, you've, you have some very inspirational videos. I just I love your videos. So um, I just wanted to go ahead and, you know, give you a shout-out, and um, it's KK Hendricks, 73. And, um, but um, right now today, um, as of this morning, yesterday morning, so Friday morning, I, w I weighed myself, and I was um, 222.2, and that was Friday morning, right? Yeah, it was Friday morning, so it was like the 19th, uh, October 19th, 2012, so I was 222.2, and Miss QL Raquel, 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 I'm sorry, oh my goodness, I'm just what? Miss Raquel, um, you were saying in one of your videos that you were like definitely the slowest loser here. Absolutely not, sweetheart. I am. I am, but I'm getting back um, on track, um, and I will be doing, you know, another update and things like that so that you guys know, and body shot and stuff like that, because I did that other video, like I said, and I want to put back on the same things that I had on when I did my uh, pre-op uh, the day before my surgery so you guys can see. Um, I can, in my face, I can see that I did lose some, I can't see a little bit. 
a little bit, but yeah. So I'm gonna get you guys, you know, uh, another update. But I don't know if it's gonna let me upload this. I'm gonna see if it let me upload, if it lets me upload this, and then I'll do another video. But other than that, I love you guys, and I am sorry it took me so long to make another video, and I will definitely be making another one soon. So um, I'll talk to you later. Peace, love.